uh, actually is a backspace rogue are out of the way, but we'll see both Paladin decks where both of those players really did well with them. We'll, we will see the trademark priest from Amaz with his thunder list earlier. And um, also you can unleash earlier if you if you want to. Like you have, um, you can make all those cool plays. And it's fine if you're going second, I believe. So from my perspective, uh, I like having the coin here. If you is also introduced with something of playing the Tolentos on turn one, there is merit to it because you can sneak in one or two damage and it gives you something to do to answer web spinner because if he plays a web spinner, uh, then all of a sudden you're taking damage every turn you're responding and then you miss the opportunity to hero power. But if he coins out Honda Creeper, then this Stone Tusk Boar Gamble completely gets screwed over and for good reason. Look at what Amaz just drew. The Honda Creeper off the top. So Reels actually made the right decision here to hold the Stone Tusk Boar. It seems like Amaz has a pretty nice hand with regards to the start. He has the combo, he has Deadly Shot, he has the Haunted Creeper. Oh my god, and another Buzzard. But on the other hand, Reels, even though he doesn't have the early game, he has uh, mm -hmm. a late game. He has Lothip, he has Savannah High Main. So, and also Amaz and another High Main. Oh my god, this is huge. Here, being Amaz, do you overextend? Because every other minion you play is another card for your opponent if you assume they have the Buzzard on each combo. So you, ha you have to be really careful in this matchup. Uh, Reels is just going to hero power pass. You don't want to kind of play into the way to give your opponent a minion with web spinner. That's just something you want to avoid. Houndmaster off the top, by the way, for Amaz. That is a big draw. So you can That's continue why I like to put coin. pressure. That's why I like the coin. It's pretty powerful. But yeah, on the other the hand, it's, it's the third minion you play. You know that your opponent won't be able to unleash and buzzer next turn. I feel like you do it because you know that your opponent will be at four, four points of mana next turn. So there is no buzzard unleash. And you are able to push f another four points of damage. And then next turn, if they don't unleash, well, you still can, again, deal more, even more damage and do stuff. Agreed. Reels draw a second copy of unleash, which means the first one should be used with Timberwolf. Right here, I think you can try your best to, to clear as much as possible. Unfortunately, it's not very clean. After the spectral spiders get revealed, uh, what do you do? You just, I guess, tack into Houndmaster, set up for a second unleash. It's just so sad. Like, if he doesn't get the buzzard, mm. double unleash to clear the board, and he's still down on damage. But uh, interesting thing is that Amaz's draws after, um, you know, the fact that he does have Buzzard, but right now he's not picking up something to immediately play, too. If he had, like, Animal Companion, like, I think this Web Spinner is so important. My he Xna. gets my Exna. My Exna. Oh, my God. My Exna for the first and the last time in the Constructed Tournament. Okay, maybe not the last time, not but... the last time. I was talking to Ben Brode about it on, on turn two, and... Um, we discussed, the, we discussed the fact that my Exna is so unplayable that you'll probably see my Exna only with a web spinner. And here, I just, I'm hyped to see this Maxna doing work. And she's actually not a bad card. You know, the fact that Amaz has minions to do, like minions to drop is so important. Uh, but again, he's still gonna be a little bit on the slower end of stuff. The nice thing is, he is ahead of the race. He's definitely ahead here. But mm. Reels has the Kodo. If he's able to get the Kodo, top deck the Kodo after Max now, that would be so huge. On the other hand, this one minion, this just small spider, is nothing for a mass. He is not able to unleash. Like, yeah, even this, playing this... a buzzer buzzer, it's just weird. Yeah, this is what I was kind of saying. You know, Maz has a great hand to respond, but he doesn't have anything to do. And the fact that Westbeard didn't draw a direct meaning to play for the next two turns means Reels can take the board. So even though there is a slight lead, um, or actually a pretty considerable margin, I didn't realize that 15 health, I thought that was more of like the high teens, Reels still can come back despite the fact that uh, this high main, or sorry, rather that he's taking a lot of damage, this high main can change a lot of things. There is a high main from us. This is a pretty good draw. Other than that, you have to play Maxna, which is not something you want to play. No way. And this is very interesting because we talked about it in oh, the beginning. Oh, man. Am Amask has a really nice hand with, um, with a lot of starting minions, but then he slowed down. 
But he still has a leader in his deck. Is good. Yeah, Freezing Trap is pretty nice. It denies your opponent to play it. Hmm. There is an alternative way where you, if you feel like it's Freezing Trap or Explosive Trap, depends on the intel you, uh, you've, you've received, do you play something like uh, Stone Tusk Board with Hunter's Mark? No, you got to use Freezing Trap here. Now, I was thinking maybe you Lotheb or something, but I think Freezing Trap is just way too powerful against what he has. Well, the problem is like freezing trap can actually be enabled by anything. So I maybe I mm. like buzzard more, so that you attack with the hunter's creeper. Check out which trap is this. Play buzzard, and then attack with the high main into the high main and draw the cards. The problem that Reels is facing, he has only five cards left. He used his uh, both copies of Anish the Hounds, and he has no way to draw the cards in here. Where yeah. Amas has a full hand and a full potential, like he can draw into anything. Ooh, well, he guessed kind of wrong, but now he can still play the Freezing Trap. And then he also can uh, do a good job of removing. In fact, it is a little bit kind of sloppy and out of order, but he's ended up getting the damage in anyways. See what Amaz can do. He can also unleash to get maximum value, but if he picks up something like Leroy, I wonder if that's enough damage to end the game. I feel like you were waiting with the Unleash so so long that this is definitely a turn you want to Unleash. Hmm. You can... Can you Unleash and Deadly Shot? You can't. Well, with Unleash, he dra he's drawing free cards, which is pretty good. And also, yes. he will be able to, and to check the trap. The problem is, if this is an explosive trap, you're so dead. So you probably want to maybe attack first with the hyena. Yes. See what kind of a trap is this. I I completely agree. You know, the explosive trap blows this game away. I really like how traps, like the, the mechanic of traps, is warping the the, the game. It's um, you play the card. It's a secret, so you, you don't know what it is. And you have to play around it, and it's so tough to play around it to make the decision okay. which trap is this. Freezing trap has been revealed. So now, do you unleash? Five mana. Yeah, there's, there's no way to end the game. But if you unleash, you can't set up like a taunt. And even if you unleash, what if you don't have a way to kill off this high main effectively? Like you don't have Hunter's Mark or the Iron Beak Owl. I think you have to do it though. You're drawing three cards. Something like Owl would be nice. Something like Hunter's Mark would also be okay. He also has Explosive Trap. Explosive Trap is pretty nice as well. Oh, he gets the Iron Beak Owl as his third card. That is a huge draw. This is pretty nice from us. Because right now, he's denying any kind of damage coming from wow. Reels. Reels. Only two cards to Amas having nine. Oh my goodness. This game has just been blown wide open by Amaz because of that. But Lotheb has stalled it out, so it's not like Kill Commands can end the game. Well, King Kill Command is actually still pretty good. You just Kill Command Lotheb and attack for four. Put your opponent to nine. He only has two cards. He just played Lotheb, so... There is no high main. No Unleash the Hounds. You have 16 points of life. And there are no, there is no combination of free cards that the hunter can use to kill you. Do you deadly shot and just push for damage? I feel like that wouldn't be bad either. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely something I suggest. Oh my bad, I thought you were suggesting kill command. It's, it's fine. It's like kill command or deadly shot. A deadly shot is better because um, yes, kill command you can use it as a, as a burst card. Completely agree. You have the five damage in hand. You might even roll something better with Animal Companion. In fact, if your opponent can't do anything, I said I would love to drop my Exna and Kill Command. No, said. Reels concedes before my Exna has been revealed. But realistically, we're, we're probably never going to see my Exna being played. I'm TP. still looking forward to it. Maybe one day somebody will actually play my Exna, then play Mark of the Wild and Faceless. And then Faceless. And yep. We earned some good glasses, by the way. That's a hard-earned thing. Now, Rios is going to go straight to Paladin. An excellent choice. Paladin has the potential to completely destroy.